was crying. Is that all she can say? Nothing was crying. Nothing was crying. Nothing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing some true crime. I did notice that we had a few people subscribe recently due to my Daryl Brooks video from like 10 months, almost a year ago back. And I was surprised to see that people were still interested in that case to this day. It's really cool to see like the surge in, in, in interest come literally out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure the reason why it was recommended is because I think Crime Circus just did a video on the Daryl Brooks case and it seems like maybe my video was recommended a little bit but thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. We do all kinds of shit on this channel because I am a crazy person. I do have many interests and I refuse to stick to any specific niche for this channel. That's just who I am. I'm a ball of chaos. So today we are going to be touching on this case of this girl named Alexi Treviso. She is accused of dumping a newborn baby into a trash can, okay? She has not been found guilty or not guilty. She has not stood trial yet. I think the case is still ongoing. So we're going to find out the verdict eventually. But I just wanted to watch this from... Let me make sure I have the channel because we always give all the channels credit. Because we, we don't steal content here. <laughs> um, this is from Ewoo Body Cam. They're a really big crime channel. They post a lot of body cam footage from all these stories that we hear about. And yeah, this is gonna be the description. In today's true crime documentary, because they do full productions, like this channel is the real deal. Um, we're covering a case where a teen stuffed her newborn baby in the trash inside the hospital bathroom. I haven't seen any of the body cam footage of when it happened i did see when she gets arrested so this part right here that um law and crime was so gracious to upload uh i've seen them arrest her and her mom getting really upset about it but i haven't seen any of the hospital stuff so you know this is what we're here for let's fucking go and just as a disclaimer, I'm really sorry if um, children involved in crimes is very triggering to you. It's a little triggering to me. I typically will choose to cover cases where it's, you know, adults in adult situations. Anytime it gets into children territory, I usually check out because there's just something about hurting children that I just can't comprehend and it just it tears me apart to my core. I'm gonna tread carefully on this one to not trigger myself, so let's just start there. We discovered a dead baby in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I was not crying or nothing. What did you do to it? Like, how big is the baby? It's full term. Oh, dude, the first 12 seconds are already brutal as fuck like look at her face i understand being afraid of something that has happened i i need to not make judgments about her right off the bat because we don't know any of the facts yet this hasn't gone to trial but it boggles my mind how you could get to full term a full term pregnancy and not have any feelings towards a new life where you just dump it in the trash like it's nothing like she looks more scared for herself than she does about anything involving that baby and oh god okay i can tell i'm already gonna be really upset by this 
in one of the most incomprehensible crimes that the nation has ever seen. Yeah. A newborn baby is found deceased at Artesia General Hospital in New Mexico. Where exactly the baby was found is what makes this case so shocking. Even more gut-wrenching is the unbelievable lengths a young woman went to in an attempt to cover up her monstrous deed. In the early morning hours of January 27, 2023, 19-year-old Alexi Treviso... She was 19, bro. Like... When this happens to teenagers, like 15, 16, 17 year olds, I understand it a little more because it's really an unfathomable thought for somebody who's a teenager to think, hey, I am now going to be responsible for a human life. That's really scary and I, I sympathize, but there's so many other options. There's adoption. You can literally leave it at a hospital there are many places that take children that nobody wants and for you to instead just be like yeah i'm just gonna kill it who fucking raised you bitch who raised you i don't get it viso also known as lexi checked into the emergency room at artesia general hospital as she was experiencing lower back pain her mother rosa treviso accompanied her it wasn't uncommon for her to endure this sort of pain, as she was known to have hip and spine problems. However, this instance would prove to be something different. Around 1.40 a.m., Lexi informed- Oh my god. This is actual footage of her. About to give birth to a baby and running into a bathroom? Like, what? Around 1.40 a.m., Lexi informs the medical staff that she needs to use the restroom. During this time, her mother checks on her to make sure that everything is okay. Fifteen minutes go by before a nurse does the same, but Lexi claims that she's merely having trouble going to the bathroom. However, the nurse- For that long, bro? Ain't nobody gonna believe that you're having trouble going to the bathroom for 35 minutes straight. That's crazy. Bathroom. However, the nurse is growing suspicious of the noises she can hear from inside. It sounds as though the paper towel dispenser is being used over and over again. While the oh, toilet is being- shit. So this was probably one of those bathrooms that have, you know, the automatic paper towel dispenser where you like wave your hand in front of it and it just comes out and you like, you can hear it. Just imagine that going on, I mean, going off over and over and over again and you're like, what exactly is going on in there? What the fuck? Being flushed several times, and the sink is continuously running. Hmm. It was all very strange. After 20 minutes and no sign of Lexi, the medical team has become extremely worried and notifies her that they're going to open the door. However, the teenager beats them to it. As she walks out, no one could have expected the horror scene left behind. The entire restroom is coated in blood. Dude. Dude. And she's acting like a child who is literally getting caught doing something they're not supposed to be doing. She's like, wait, 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 I'll open it, I'll open it. And there's, there's just a mess of blood right behind her. Yeah, this is censored, but like you can still kind of see the hints of blood that she left. Left behind. The entire restroom is coated in blood. Even worse, there's blood also dripping down Lexi's legs. She's quickly rushed to treatment, but unbeknownst to the doctors, something unthinkably sinister has just taken place inside that restroom. While Lexi is being checked for injuries, a housekeeper is tasked with cleaning the bloody mess left behind, where she notices that the trash can seems heavier than usual. Oh no, oh no, oh no. So we know from the title alone that obviously the baby is in the trash can, but there's really something disgusting about you doing that and then leaving it for someone else to find. Because just imagine the, the trauma that they're going through knowing like, yes, I took the trash out of the trash can and it was heavier than it 
usually is and then come to find out there's a whole child that was just tossed in there you have to be the most disgusting piece of shit to do something like this imagine being this person's mom like i birthed this monster what the fuck as she looks inside the bin she makes the utterly tragic finding what appears to be a newborn baby boy inside a plastic trash bag. She frantically alerts the nurses who confirm the sickening news. Sadly, there are no signs of life. Officers have just been called to the scene where medical personnel inform them of the heartbreaking discovery. I've just got to say, being a cop, being a nurse, being a doctor, like all of these jobs where you have to deal with the human condition face to face i have so much respect for these people because the shit that they have to see is intense you have to see the most disgusting sides of humans that there is out there and you have to be completely objective so that you can find all of the information but it's not easy being objective when you see that there is scum like this in the planet i just okay clearly i'm triggered just been called to the scene where medical personnel informed them of the heartbreaking discovery police asked to speak with lexi before being taken to her room where the shocking truth is only seconds away from being uncovered i'm sorry we discovered a dead baby dude the way that she's sitting there just acting like she's innocent i can't stand it and i want to smack that look off her face being uncovered i'm sorry we discovered a dead baby in the bathroom oh my gosh i'm sorry he came out of me and i didn't know what to do next he came out of me and i didn't know what to do are you serious bro i am i'm definitely triggered right now because <sighs> You're so stupid, bro. There were so many other things that you could have done. And the shame of you being in this hospital with your mother and you being so afraid of admitting that, yeah, you have sex. You, instead of coming clean to your mom and being honest, you murdered a child. An innocent child who did not ask to be here. I'm so angry right now. And yeah, I'm sure her mom is a little strict, but like, she wouldn't have supported you when it came to this baby? You don't know that. You don't know that. You're stupid for trying to do all of this on your own. Thinking you weren't gonna get caught. Like, you fucking idiot. We discovered a dead baby in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Thinking about it being a dead baby in the bathroom. Lexi, I told you about this. I just asked you, baby, to tell me the truth. I just asked you to tell me the truth? How much do you know, Mom? I'm really curious to see what's going to come out during this trial because if her mom had any suspicion that she was pregnant, like, why didn't you take her to the doctor sooner? I, I have a lot of questions about your family life like i don't know what's going on here but it's weird it was not crying or nothing what did you do to it okay stop right here stop stop, stop. number one priority guys number one priority if she just had a baby i don't know if she's delivered the placenta she's bleeding this woman right here you're you're such an amazing person at your job the way that she had to yes state that she did something wrong and it resulted in the death of a human being she still is looking at her as her patient and she's saying look you delivered her baby unattended you are bleeding profusely you need a, you need medical attention before we can address what you've done so can we please like save all the all the arguments all the bullshit to the end and you know get her some help now because, girl, 
I wouldn't be that worried about her if I was a doctor, but that's why I'm not a doctor, <laughs> right? There's very special people in this line of work, the people that can actually deal with situations like this. I don't know if I could. So much respect to women like her, nurses like the nurse who came in also, because yeah, he's, he's a rock star as well. Significantly, yeah. I've spoken to the obstetrician at Loveless. They want her up there as soon as possible. Okay, I need, I need your, I obviously need your permission to transfer her for medical. She needs to be 19. Oh, you're right. To make sure that you're safe, I need to send you to left Loveless to labor delivery. I love how the nurse is like, actually, she's of age. She doesn't need her mom for anything. Because she's over here being infantilized by her mom. She's like treating her like she's a child. She's clearly not a child. She is above age. And you to left loveless to labor delivery. Will you please agree to that? Yes. 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 I, okay. Great. Okay. 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 I'm gonna work on that. Um, in terms, I'm sorry about this, but in terms of delivering um, a baby, and it looked like you tried to hide it, we do have to have the police involved. I nothing was crying. Bruh, her face. Her face when she realizes that she can possibly go to jail for this, she looks horrified. Like, did you not think about this? Did you not think that there could be possible consequences for the shit that you did? It, it boggles my mind. Like, have you sheltered the fuck out of this girl to the point where she doesn't know about consequences? I, do, I don't understand. I don't. I hide it. We do have to have the police involved. <laughs> And nothing was crying. It came out with nothing. I know. Nothing was crying. It came out with nothing. You didn't even give it the chance. So I don't get why you're saying this. I know. But the, the baby's going to have to be taken for autopsy and mm -hmm. you know, be an investigator and everything. Yes, because believe it or not, we can see if the child took any breaths doing an autopsy. So we can see if the baby was stillborn like you claim by saying that he wasn't crying or anything we'll see sorry, guys. I'm sorry. before the incident occurred upon lexi's arrival at the hospital she was asked if there was a possibility that she could be pregnant however both she and her mother adamantly denied there was any chance lexi apparently told the nurses that she was currently on her menstrual cycle Girl, girl, if you were actually on your menstrual cycle, you would not have been giving birth. So you blatantly lied to your mother, and then you lied to the doctors as well. How are they supposed to treat you? You're coming in with back pain and shit, and you're pregnant? You're going to tell me you didn't know you were pregnant. I'm sorry, it, it, it doesn't doesn't track for me it doesn't make sense just to be sure she was given a pregnancy test the first wave of shock came with the result the test came back positive but that obviously wouldn't be the last surprise because she's bleeding significantly lexi is going to be transported to lovelace medical center in roswell new mexico I'm the charge nurse here. Do you guys have any questions for me like how big is the baby it's full term what? Bro, I'm so sick of looking at her face. Like, you did not care about this baby at all. If you did, you would have ran out of that bathroom screaming, a baby just came out of me, which would, it would probably be the more normal reaction if you're having a baby with no one around. But I feel like your intention was to hide this pregnancy no matter what happened and you failed. Nine months? Nothing was crying. Lexi, have you watched the news of the, the girls that, what they do to their babies and what they go to jail? Nothing's crying. Is that all she can say? Nothing was crying. Nothing was crying. Nothing. It's a baby. You, you can't even say it wasn't crying, the baby he it's a baby not nothing was crying i don't i don't usually get this angry about cases and you know what 
I'm clearly a bad judge of myself because I am unfathom unfathomably angry right now. Any, any, any other questions? Okay. No questions. No questions at all. You see, you didn't give a fuck about the baby. You just care about yourself. And right now, y'all are crying about what's going to happen to her in the future. No one really cares about the baby. Right. So, as of right now, like, I'm going to say this. We're going to have the detectives come over here and they're going to talk to you, okay? We have to gather some more information about what's going, what's going on. They'll get your statement. They're going to get the doctor's statements. They're going to get everybody's statements, okay? So, I don't know everything yet, okay? So, I'm not going to tell you. I can't tell you nothing about it, okay? Like, All I can say not going to go to jail. Right, right, right now. now. No, I no, mean, well. not right now. She's bleeding out, but after, yeah. Right now, she's being detained. So, she, she's not going to leave from here at all, period. Yeah. Okay? So, one of us Is being, it your custody? Like, yeah, she's detained. <laughs> Lexi reportedly seemed as though she was desperately trying to hide her pregnancy from the medical team, in addition to her mom. According to one of the nurses, when asked to lay down, Lexi would try to maneuver away. Although lower back pain wasn't cause for too much concern, they noticed that she was unable to keep still and wasn't, quote, acting right. Who was the baby at? I, I don't know. I have no clue yet. Like I said, I just talked to the child. I kind of do feel bad for the mom because you know what it does seem like she was keeping a secret from her this whole time because she's actually asking questions about where the baby is how far along it was what happened like she's actually concerned about that I don't think Alexi gives a shit our nurse we're still getting all the information right now okay um once we get that information, like I said, the detectives, they can clue you out on everything and talk to you more about it. All right. Unfortunately, because the baby wasn't showing any signs of life, the medical staff came to the conclusion that there would be no use in trying to resuscitate him. And he was pronounced dead at 2.28 a.m. Where did you put the baby at? Uh, Bro, it's just the look on her face when she's telling her mom all of this. Like, she just looks so unserious, bro. Like, this is the most serious shit ever. And you're just like, it wasn't crying. I just put it in the bag. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Bro, she's actually mad at her daughter for lying. And you can tell that she really is upset. She's over here drilling the fuck out of her in front of the cops. Like, I don't know if this is like a performance. Because I did see them trying to arrest her and her mom being angry and like trying to fight them on that. So I'm like, I'm a little confused about their dynamic, really. Do you want to get in trouble for this now? You could get in trouble for this Give it time, okay? Let me speak to the detectives, wonder if she's ready, okay? Ready for the second one? Second one is fine. What do you mean? I didn't even know it was coming, Mom. <sighs> like, things like this, you want to blame it on, like, bad sexual reproductive classes, like, bad schooling for this, but you had to have known that having sex could possibly get you pregnant and then you're missing your period and shit is changing things are weird girl you t you told no one you hadn't you gave that baby no chance and that's what makes me so angry like yeah you're 19 you're young but you're not this retarded i refuse to believe that 
Rosa leaves the room to call her husband. I'm back in here, but as of right now, I can't allow her to be back in here. Okay? If you need something... Yeah, you're an adult, so you're gonna have to handle this by yourself like an adult while she's out. Told to get it. We'll be back in here, okay? If you need something, we're, we're not gonna stay in here, okay? Because I think it makes it worse than we're doing. All right, obviously. And I, and I know you're scared. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay on the outside of the door, okay? As long as you promise me you're not, you know, you're not gonna take yourself. <laughs> okay, like I said, I... Uh, this is a lot. I know it is, okay? You're young. You know, I, I don't want to be in here kind of adding to, to your anxiety and everything else, okay? Which is very kind of him, considering the fact that she just committed a whole crime. But, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense, because she's still in the middle of a medical crisis. Like, we need to make sure that she's not gonna die right now. So we'll handle that first. And then we'll talk to the detectives and you can tell us everything that happened. An hour goes by and Lexi is still waiting to be transferred. She's desperate to speak with her mother. Are you looking for someone to talk to your mom? Um, yes. She okay. Just, she's not telling me where I'm going. Yeah, no, she already knows. Um, detectives. She's going? Yes, yeah, she should be. Um, detectives up there talking with her right now. Um, so, do you have any other questions for us? Okay. 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 Lexi is strapped into a gurney and placed inside of the helicopter, where she will be transferred to Lovelace Medical Center for further treatment. However, the twisted investigation is only just beginning. Tragically, an autopsy would later reveal that there were signs of life after the birth. Yeah. Yeah, they did the autopsy, bitch, and they found out that it was not stillborn like you were trying to say. Get fucked. Sorry. <laughs> I just, I'm so angry. People like her have a special spot in hell, in my opinion. You're killing someone so innocent. They literally just got here. And that's what you're going to do. You didn't even give them a shot. Like, I hope you should rot in prison. The baby ultimately suffocated from being placed inside of the tied plastic trash bag. Because of this, the death was ruled a homicide. Yeah. On May 10th, 2023, Lexi was playing. This is the footage that I saw. I thought it was hilarious, in my opinion. Like, I understand the, the helplessness of a parent in this situation when you know that your child committed a crime and they're going to jail and you don't know what is going to happen to them in jail. I get being afraid of that, but your child murdered a child you don't have the right to be angry when the cops are coming to do their job that's just how i feel about it placed under arrest and charged with first degree murder and tampering with evidence a little over a week later she was released from jail on a one hundred thousand dollar bond she will be allowed to finish out the school year and attend her graduation without being required to wear an ankle monitor that is really nice of them to have allowed you to do that. Not everybody gets to do that. Your girl, slap on the wrist. I hope the trial is very different in that regard. However, she will have to follow a mandated curfew along with counseling. If Lexi violates any of the conditions of her release, she will be required to await her pending trial in jail. She should have awaited her pending trial in jail anyway. Like, you suck. In my opinion, you should not be allowed to have your senior year of high school. I don't care. Like, clearly, it's a good thing that I'm not in these positions of power because, you know what? I don't feel any sympathy for this, this stupid little face right here. I really don't. I feel no sympathy for you. I'm just so angry right now. I'm extremely angry. And we're gonna see if there's any other coverage on this case. I'm not sure like what is happening as of now. Oh, Court TV with the, with the juicy, juicy bits. 
So it seems like there's a petition to get her kicked out of university. I'm not sure I... Here's the thing. I think everyone has the right to an education. I don't think that you should be attending universities when you're going to be going on trial eventually for murdering a child. It would be different if the trial was over and let's say that she's found not guilty for whatever reason and she does her time and then she wants to go to college. In that case, I don't disagree. Everyone has a right to an education. That's fine. You you should go to school after everything has already played out, but you're it's like you're trying to go on your life like nothing ever happened, and I don't like that. You shouldn't get to just get away with what you did and then, you know, just move on. At least that's my opinion. Yeah, this question, Annie Elise from 10 to Life, shout out. She has an amazing channel. I agree with this little short. She says, how did no one notice Alexi Treviso was pregnant? I agree. How the fuck? How did no one notice? A a full-term pregnancy? I'm sure she was showing. Like, what are you talking about? Anyway, I just found this from Law and Crime. They posted it nine days ago. Teen accused of dumping baby in trash allowed to attend college with father of dead newborn. I know that's just the title, but that makes me livid. So we're gonna watch it. It's just nine minutes. This is on the line crime network. Okay, I have to do the ad. (laughs) What's your plan? In terms of delivering um, a baby. Okay, this is the intro of the. It's the same body cam footage we just saw, but I hope for, I hope that they're going to um, tackle more of this. And it looked like you tried to hide it. You do have to have a quick sleep all And that thing was crying. It came out with that thing. I know, I know. Yep. But the the baby's gonna have to be taken for autopsy, and there'll be an investigator and everything. Alexi Treviso, the New Mexico teen accused of murdering her newborn baby in a hospital restroom, is back in court asking for changes to conditions of her release. Mm. So I would ask that, that that restriction of being able to have contact and uh, with her boyfriend be removed. Thanks for joining us here on Law & Crime. I'm Anjanette Levy. Yes, Anjanette, give it to me straight, girl. Alexi Treviso maintains she did not murder her baby. Last January, she went to the hospital complaining of back pain. Her attorney had said that she was at cheerleading practice beforehand and didn't know she was pregnant. Treviso's reaction to police finding out she had given birth was captured by police body cameras. In terms of delivering um, a baby and it looked like you tried to hide it, you do have to have the police involved. Yeah. Yeah, that look is very damning. And that thing was crying. It came uh-huh. out with that thing. I know, sure. I know. But the, the baby's sure. going to have to be taken for autopsy and there'll be an investigator and everything. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm sorry. The fact that the doctor is apologizing, like, dude, her bedside manner is crazy. I could never... I could never. Like, bitch, you aren't sorry. She shouldn't be sorry for what you did. <sighs> I'm so sorry, but we need to do this correctly. Um, and I want to be transparent with you about what our steps are going to be. Okay. Officer, do you need to, do you guys need to talk to her before we get her transferred? How long is it going to be before you have the transfer out? I don't know. Are we working on... Okay. Uh, Maria, so, you think 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, hopefully, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. So I got I got detectives on the way, so they're, okay. they're going to be talking for Okay. So, Thank you. Uh, do you guys have, I'm the charge nurse here, do you guys have any questions for me? Like, how big is the baby? It's full term. What? Nothing. Nine months? Nothing was crying. Let's see. Have you watched the news of the, the girls that, what they do to their babies and what they go to jail? Now Treviso's lawyer does not want a jury to see that video. 
uh, dude, the jury should see this video. Because if they are normies, like most people are, they would see this and be like, what is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? She's not asking about the baby. She's not concerned. She's just like, nothing was crying. So I dumped it in the trash and wrapped it in se several trash bags and wipes and made sure that it suffocated to death. Like, bitch. Now Treviso's lawyer does not want a jury to see that video. Treviso could be seen in the background of a hearing conducted via Zoom as her attorney spoke. This is one of the first times the public has seen her in many months. Treviso's attorney, Gary Mitchell, believes some of what Treviso said in the hospital is privileged since she was under the care of a doctor, and he suggests she had not been read her Miranda rights. Wow. You know, if you think about it legally, I could see there being an argument for that because it's true. She wasn't read her rights immediately because, <laughs> dude, in what world have, like, I don't think anyone has ever caught somebody in the act of murdering a child right after giving birth still in the hospital. You know what I mean? I don't think that's ever happened. So it's unprecedented. The way that this was carried out, they they probably don't have experience with that type of situation. She wasn't read her rights, so hmm. Now I'm thinking about it. Is that a is that something he's actually gonna be able to do? I can't wait to find out. The care of a doctor, and he suggests she had not been read her Miranda rights when police were present during some of the exchange because she couldn't leave. Until police got there, they called 911. The police were there. We're not talking about a lengthy period of time here. We're talking about within minutes, uh, really quick. And and uh, the police were there. The sergeant comes. The officer comes. And then we go. Then they talk to the doctor. They go in the room. And in the room at the time is my client, her mother, the uh, doctor, and the two police officers are standing. And she can't leave. And that's in their reports that by that time they've got this information they have a baby that's deceased they have a doctor they have the baby and they have uh information and they're going in to talk to the mother but my position is the the doctor patient privilege still applies because hmm it's going to be really interesting watching him try to argue that because, you know, all of us are emotional. We immediately go to, there is a dead baby. There's a deceased baby in this situation. What did you do? <laughs> How did you do this? Immediately, everyone jumps to finding out what happened. But was there attention being paid to procedures? I think that's the angle that he's trying to get at. Because we do this all the time in hospitals. We have spouses present we have uh, family members present because they brought them in and a lot of times the people aren't in their right mind to make decisions anyway and need a family advisor but the state disagrees the prosecutor says treviso's mother was with her so there's no privilege she came with her mother she allowed mm. her mother to be present ah okay see i'm not a lawyer i don't know about things like this so when anjanette brings that up i'm like hmm maybe he does have a point but if her mom being in the room kind of throws a wrench in that dude the state they're on it they're fucking on it there's no privilege she came with her mother she allowed her mother to be present uh the court would be familiar um that uh, a patient has a right to not have other people in their room they ask if it's okay if that person stays uh that's normal treatment um, the state would submit. So, Your Honor, we believe there, there are three different things going on here. Uh, and for defense to lump it all in and say it's all privileged uh, before the court, uh, we would uh, we would disagree. Uh, and so uh, we don't believe uh, there is a privilege. The judge asked for more mm. information from the defense and the prosecution before making a decision on the motion to suppress those statements. Oh. I mean, I personally 
I personally would not exclude those statements, but that's because I'm a messy bitch. There may be some distinct acts or events that occurred that are privileged or may be privileged. I'm seeing other. I can't lump this into one event. Yes, yes, I totally see what she means because there's a lot of things happening at the same time and it's it's not okay to take the entirety of it and say that it's privileged just because there's things that came out during those videos that are incriminating. You can't do that. So good on you, judge. Good on you. I'm seeing other I can't lump this into one event. A long running event. I, I yeah. I think we've got, for example, I'm thinking that the, 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 whatever happened in the hallway, which I think is just a video of her going from, I guess, a treatment area down the hallway into the bathroom, right? That's a public area. I can't see that that video would in itself be a privileged video. I've got other questions about other parts. Yes, I do that has evidence in it. There's a lot of those videos that have evidence in it, so I understand why he would want to toss them out and not allow them to be included in the trial but you can't get rid of all of it sir you think it's a good idea that you submit findings of fact to the next request from treviso's attorney has to do with the conditions of her bail she's only been allowed to talk to her boyfriend the father of the baby by phone and social media since her arrest in barring face-to-face -face meetings another judge cited a domestic violence statute in not allowing the contact. But Treviso would like to be able to go to classes at college without fearing running into him and then violating the terms of her release. This is not a domestic violence situation between the two of them whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, that statute shouldn't apply. What should apply is that we can't, I mean, she hasn't been convicted of anything. She's not on probation. And uh, as long as they don't discuss the case, uh, they should be able to see one another. As long as they don't discuss the case, you know damn well they're probably gonna discuss it. Doesn't matter what statute you put, that's between them in the privacy of the time that they share. You, there's no way you can prevent that, which is probably why it's in place, because they're like, we can't have them talking to each other about it, and they probably will. They both attend the same university. Okay. It's a large, the second largest university in the state, but they both attend the same. Yeah. My client is trying to, to stay at home like, and stay and take classes via from the university. So we tried to avoid that problem this semester because I didn't have an order and hadn't had this heard before then. But I'm asking that the court take a look at the motion uh, and the state's response, because one, I don't believe we can order that in that fashion uh, because of the cases I cited to the court, including Johnson and uh, some other cases. Uh, and, and two, uh, she has not violated that whatsoever. The judge allowed him to, communi to, to communicate via telephone and or uh, Gosh, there's so many different media ways to communicate, but they couldn't be in person. And she's honored that. She doesn't go out at all. Uh, she should continue to honor that because at least with those forms of communication, you can see what they're talking about. There's evidence to be left behind. But if you just leave them alone with each other, that you're ruining your case as it's going. Other than to come to my office, the court allowed her to go see her grandparents. The prosecution didn't object to a change in the conditions of her release, but didn't exactly endorse lifting the restriction altogether. Once Fair. probable cause is found and probable cause has been found, this court can set restrictions to ensure that uh, there is no conduct that could lead to a, a further crime uh, in, involved in this case. And just, that is why Judge Finger made that restriction. The court can fashion conditions of release that allows her to attend a university that uh, the same individual could attend. Maybe they're in the same class, maybe they're in the same lab, the same bookstore, the same restaurant, but it's no different. She, There's no reason for her to have a 
a relationship with this person based on what the facts of this case are at this time. In the end, the judge ruled in- I mean, he's the father of the baby that she killed. I don't, to be honest, I don't know how they're still together. I don't, I really don't. On what the facts of this case are at this time. In the end, the judge ruled in favor of Treviso. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna allow, I'm gonna modify the conditions of release. I'll allow her to go. It's New Mexico State and Las Cruces, right? That's correct, Your Honor, it is. Big university, huge. I don't know what the student count is, but I'm sure it's several thousand. Um, Las Cruces is a sizable city. Um, I, I personally, counsel, I, I'm, I'm really trying to get in my mind how you can invoke a